So, Prince Harry, did he miss his destiny? What do you think? I hope you like the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this uh, got inspired by some comments I looked back on. And this was Hell's Haven of Fury, one of the viewers. And uh, thank you, Hell. And uh, she was commenting about uh, Harry, a video I did on or the Sussexes that I did quite a while ago. But then from from her uh, uh, question or from her comment, I kind of got a question. And my question from her comment is this. Has Harry veered from his divine path? Uh, does he need to go back to the royal family to fulfill his destiny? Is that what should uh, have happened? Is that something he's going to have to keep going back? Is this something that's getting repaid over and over again? I think actually that the viewer really got at probably what a lot of British people are feeling. And I'm going to read right from uh, her comment uh, three months ago to the, one of those videos. It says the couple wouldn't have been disliked if they just left the UK and made a success of their lives. I don't know. It says um, This viewer says we'd have said good luck and blessings. Uh, and they say the outpourings of dislike is because of their behavior and that they've lied. So that's what many Britons feel like. Uh, she said she seemed to feel like Harry showed the most reaction to being cut off from money. And um, if all you have is your fame, it's a false reality. Well, that's true. But I mean, you have to remember that's this person was born to fame. They don't have a comparison really until much later in life. It'd be like me saying, why don't you understand that you're not enormously privileged? So, um, and then if they have the character to get through it. So I think we'll see. We'll ask questions around that. So this is the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. This is U.S. Game Systems. And I love these cards. They're, they're called Radiant because the colors in them, you'll see, they actually kind of radiate from the center out. And they're brilliant colors. So that's the deal. The, the same uh, art of the regular Rider Waite cards, but they're colored a little differently uh, in this case. So um, I'll show you the cards. They're really nice. I mean, they're the traditional um, symbolism that you expect. Just the coloring is uh, a little or a, a lot more nuanced, as a matter of fact, with this radiant um, situation where the color just kind of emanates out from the center. This is a good one to look at for that. I mean, you can see that it's a lighter color here and it just radiates out and all the colors are very vibrant, vibrant and beautiful. So love the cards. Hopefully you do too. I think they show up really well on the camera. And I just do this little uh, situation of spreading the cards out like this uh, so that you can get a chance to look at them. Most people like to see what all the cards look like. And uh, if you're working with someone, it's maybe a good idea to let them uh, work with the cards this way. Just to kind of get their energy uh, into the cards. And, uh, and then you can start uh, deciding what they mean for them. We'll see what the cards have to say. Has Harry veered from his divine path? Has Harry veered from his divine path. I would say a lot of folks maybe think it's the opposite, that he's finally understood the correct path. I mean, we look at Prince Andrew, and uh, who didn't uh, go out and make a success of himself separate from the royal family, and here he is at the end. Of course, he did some ridiculous things, but at the end, he's at the mercy of the royal family, which isn't bad. He's got almost half a million pound income a year from the queen now without performing any royal duties. But um, has Harry veered from his divine path? And does he need to go back to the royal family to fulfill his destiny? Does he need to go back to the royal family to fulfill his destiny? But we'll do the first part first. Has Harry veered from his divine path? Okay. We're going to say one, two, three, four, five, and six. Has Harry veered from his divine path in the first part of this full Celtic cross? Has Harry veered from his divine path? The signifier for that then, ah, is the Eight of Swords. I don't know. I mean, so what is the Eight of Swords? The Eight of Swords is being uh, bound up, 
okay, and surrounded by what are what are swords for me, truths and justices. But they're imprisoning this person. So, uh, but then we typically want to feel like that this person could uh, shake free of their binds and then find a way to walk forward. So is this Harry in the middle of all those rules and has he found his way free? I don't know, but that's the signifier card there. The Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, feeling, and the key to that is feeling trapped. This person is not necessarily trapped, so feeling trapped, all right? The challenge to that then is the Seven of Cups. Well, that's an interesting challenge. The Seven of Cups, well, it makes sense, though, if you think about it. The Seven of Cups is really having all the choices available to you possible, okay? Um, so this this uh, person has just everything they can choose to go in almost any direction that any of us w could think it would be interesting. They have riches. They have um, uh, real estate. They have uh, celebrations and goodwill. They have demons. Uh, they have perils. Uh, they have faith. And I'm not sure what this uh, head is supposed to represent, maybe just the self. But, um, yeah, so the challenge to feeling so trapped is having the choices. Do you realize you have the choices? I don't know. And the base of this reading for um, has Harry uh, veered from his divine path is uh, the high priestess. And, you know, I forget often that the high priestess always uh, speaks to us to use our intuition. OK, use your intuition. She's very fruitful. She has all the knowledge in the world. She's staring you straight in the eye between. Um, I don't want it's not truth and justice, but it's along those lines. And um, so, yeah. Maybe it could have been orchestrated in, in, in another way. What's in the past of this reading? In the past of this read, OK, so this is the secrets being revealed. And I think this is really getting to the key of the whole thing now. Uh, the secrets of being revealed, I think, are the, the interference of the media. OK, so this is in the past now because that's gone. Uh, they've switched it for another type of media and uh, traded it for only super negative uh, media in the British past. But I think the secrets being revealed and who else is going to reveal your secrets but the press. Uh, the sky of this reading is nightmares. OK, so and then remember, the question is, has Harry veered from his divine path? And so the best we can hope for the way this is, has come about is with nightmares. In the uh, future of this reading, ah, is the devil. So look at it. Has Harry veer, uh, veered from his divine path? And this uh, reading indicates that, that he has. Now the next part is going to be, does he need to go back to the royal family to fulfill his destiny? Okay, does Harry need to go back to the royal family to uh, fulfill uh, his destiny. Does Harry need to go back to the royal family to fulfill his destiny? And four cards. Four cards. Does Harry need to go back? Does Harry to fulfill his destiny? Does he have to go back? Let's see what we get here. First of those cards, the self. The self of that question, does he really need to go back? Is, well, he's out in the cold. You know, I think it's too late. He is out in the cold. Although I always say that humanity has an amazing way of being forgiving. Forgiving, yeah, being forgiving at some point. But um, you know, the stuff of that is that they are they have uh, locked themselves out in the cold. Uh, the environment that that's in then, which is funny because they're in California, is um, ah okay. So at some point, at some level, there's a, a wishing that things were the way they they were before, huh? And the uh, hopes and the fears for that, right here. Well, it's the uh, Four of Swords. The Four of Swords tells us that you need to stop, take a break, really just spend a lot of time in contemplation, get up at your peril, and um, you've got a little something here to contemplate about. The um, final outcome of this whole thing, then, uh, is likely to be, okay, well, it's, it's valuable. The Three of Pentacles are cooperations between people putting something together for public display. That's how I see it. Something valuable. And uh, so look at this uh, red-haired chap. So this is probably uh, Harry. Uh, he needs to partner with the correct uh, associates, whomever they may be. And these people do not look royal, by the way. This looks to be a monk, and this uh, almost looks to be a jester, but I don't think he is. But yeah, so he needs to get some spiritual centeredness, which it looks like that's what he's doing, and some good uh, adv rote advice and uh, and then finish uh this would be uh his uh life for public display so so the, so, so the second part does he need to go back to the royal family to fulfill his destiny he's out in the cold he wishes things were the way they were if he moves uh too quickly he's at his peril and he needs to partner with somebody to get uh, things back together but these people don't seem to be royal 
So that's what I've got. So that was very interesting. I mean, it's not the reading I would have orchestrated if I could have, because uh, I'm uh, in favor of uh, Harry and his independence. But the first part of that was, did he did he in fact veer from his divine path? And uh, so we got here the um, Eight of Swords, which is just feeling crap, but really you're not. I mean, you could get out of it. And it's um, challenged by uh, the Seven of Cups, which is just having so many choices. So, and then the base of it was intuition. You know, what do you think? Could there have been a better way in the past where the secrets being revealed, which for me is the press, you know, the, this is the press hounding them, uh, hounding, interesting, a coyote or a wolf and a dog. Um, in the sky of this is just what we have right now really are just nightmares. Okay. And then uh, in the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing was just a deal with the devil somehow. So sadly, this is not, if anybody has been watching me, they know that's not the way I would have uh, had that come out. But uh, then I said, but uh, does he have to go back? And it says, look, he's out in the cold. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. And uh, a lot of people wish things were the way they were. But um, the fact is, is that he needs to take this Four of Swords and take some time and really contemplate what's going to happen here. And with the, the right cooperation, although none of these people seem to be royal, although the redhead up on the bench does look like maybe it's Harry. But the, he's going to get the right, need to get the right cooperation. Maybe it's spiritual with this uh, priest right here, or maybe it's practical with maybe this uh, person of, of papers. Uh, to get his uh, reputation back for public display. But I don't think it's royal. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.